This is Jared from Commit Quality. In this video, we're going to go over headers. At the start of the series, we touched on headers a little bit. And to be honest, Postman does a lot of things without us needing to do anything. It handles all of the heavy lifting, you could say. One example I want to use is the post request. So let's go into the headers for this post request. And we can see a bunch of ones which have auto generated. Um, one I want to touch on is this content type. If I uncheck this and hit send, you can see that it's not actually sending through everything we're expecting. If I recheck it and hit send, it actually creates the objects that we expect. In this case, it was a multi-object one. And the reason for this is because it didn't know that the content type was JSON. And in the request, this is what this is what Postman has been handling for us. If I set none and go back to headers, you're going to see that that has just been removed. Go into body and select raw and change it to JavaScript. And as you might have guessed, if I go to headers, the content type is set to application JavaScript. Of course, that's wrong because we want to use JSON. So when we hit send, it's doing all of this for us. So we didn't have to come back in and add in content type because Postman has worked out when I said I'm passing through a body, I've already said I'm passing through JSON and it's added as a header. And this is one thing, one key thing about using Postman is it adds a lot these headers for us and it tries to take all the heavy lifting away. Now, we've talked about params where we talk about query params and path variables, and you can do the same with headers. You can add in a new key. So I could just say blah and say foobar. And if it's sent, that will pass the header through as well of blah with foobar. In this case, it made no difference. But in in one of the next videos, when we talk about authorization, we'll show how we will add the token as part of the header and pass it through. Of course, I can undo that and I can uh, delete it if we want to. So that's one key thing about the headers. You can add your own, but usually Postman try to add majority of things for us. When we use the authorization tab, it'll add headers in for us. It's really useful to know, but like I said, a lot of the heavy lifting will be done. And if we go back down to headers down here, we touched on this in the previous video where it gives us a bunch of information. Now, in this case, our body contains a JSON response. What I'm expecting is when I go to headers in here, we should see a content type of application JSON. And that's because it's worked out what content type is actually being returned. Headers is working out that the body is returned of type JSON. And as we see with this post request, more and more headers are being returned with the different type of requests we do in. So that's just one really useful thing to note. You can see all the headers coming out from here. You can see this is going to be covered more when we add authorization and everything else. But it's just something I wanted to show the post the postman handles really well for us that we don't really need to worry about it. But if you do need to check it, you can always look at here. And if you do end up having problems where you're submitting text and you see an all well, the object I expect is not being returned. Well, one, you could check the headers to make sure you're passing through JSON, or like I say, go to the body and you can select what you're saying the object type should be. So as always, any comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe is appreciated. Thanks for watching.